Make sure to follow all my other social media pages. If you aren't already, follow me on Instagram at the Healy Six, Twitter at the Healy Six. You can follow me on Snapchat at Healy Six, and I also stream on Twitch at Healy Six. What is going on, guys? Healy here, and today, rank seasons gameplay. We are back with the normal squad, and I know we played in yesterday's video. He is officially making his debut with the normal squad, Javier Baez. He's an 85 overall, just became a diamond in the last roster update. 76 contact versus right-handers, 86 versus left-handers. 73 power versus right-handers, 76 versus left-handers. As you can see with his inside edge, he has 86 contact and 83 power versus right-handers, which is really good. He can play second base shortstop or center field. He's primarily a third baseman at the moment. His fielding's at 83, reactions at 82. His arm strength is at 86. All really good. So if you want to play him in center field, might not be a bad option. And they upgraded his speed to an 81. I forgot what it was before. It might have been like 71, but 81 is elite in the game. And this card looks really good. I always said if Javier Baez got a diamond card, he would be on my team for the rest of the year. And that's what's looking like will happen. I don't have any plans of removing him at this moment. Before we get into the gameplay, shout out to SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. SeatGeek Snap that aggregates ticket prices from all over the web to make buying simple. They give you a 1 to 100 rating on every ticket. So you know if you're getting a good price or a bad price. They also color code it from red to green. When you're purchasing your ticket, you get a view directly from the venue. So you know if you're getting a good view as well. If you decide to use SeatGeek, make sure you use the link in the description. Download the app and use code Healy for $20 off your first purchase. Okay, we are going up against another Cubs fan. He has Roy Oswalt on the mound. We have Felix Hernandez. If my kryptonite on the mound. He has Bryce Harper, JD Martinez, Willie Stargell, Albert Pools, Freddie Freeman, Mike Trout, Jose Ramirez, and Gary Sanchez. Haven't faced Roy Oswald before, but I know his pronines aren't the best. Trying to get him hot early in this ball game. And we are going to pop this one up. He's playing Albert Pools at shortstop. Early. Albert Pools is now up two outs in the inning. And Albert grounds it to the shortstop, Albert Pools, who makes a fantastic play at a position he doesn't have. This guy just takes whatever pitch he gets. And there he goes. He gets a base hit, same as a walk. So, doesn't bother me. We're going to go front door. No. Baez, make the play. 58 speed. Nice job. We get out of that inning. Seven pitches for Chipper Jones. Counts only one and two. He's fighting. Ah. He misses it, and we get to two. Albert Pujols can't make the play at shortstop. Mike Trout. Mike Trout gets a base hit, 68 speed from Chipper Jones. We're going to test it on the Harper arm. He's going to hit the cut, so Chipper is safe. He might have got Chipper from that throw. He's liking that changeup. Carpenter does have the power. He's going to roll into a double play. Or not. Another error. Albert Pujols is atrocious at shortstop right now. And Vlad, the no doubter, get out of here. Three to nothing. That's what I'm talking about. Two errors in the inning. Cost him two runs. And Schwarber, that one's going to be at least a gap shot off the wall. 55 speed from Schwarber. We're going to be at second base. Roy Oswalt is getting shelled now. Base hit scores this run. Two outs in the inning. And Baez, the no doubter, Javier Baez. Let's go. That's what I wanted in his debut. A no doubter. 
The no doubter is kind of sweet. And Griffey, he gets that one fair 84 speed. We are going to test Harper's arm. And Griffey's at second base. And Albert, he gets that one up the middle. Albert gets an RBI. Playing Albert at shortstop has come back to haunt this guy. Dipper Jones has started off the inning. He is back up to the plate. 1-0 count. And Chipper, oh, he grounds out. He starts the inning, and he ends the inning. We get six runs. Change up. Let's see if we can get the change up to work. Oh, it's in the zone, so it definitely works. Trout, he has the speed. And that's out number three for the inning. Third inning now. Might be able to do it again. Does that go? Does that go? Oh, we get the typical Vlad Guerrero warning track shot. Four, or sinker low and in. And he gets a base hit. It's going to be a double, even with 38 speed. Just how the relay system works in this game. He would have got a double regardless in real life. But, yeah, he gets a double. Oswalt's now up. And now he hits the pen. Willie Stargell's on deck. Oh, he uh, ends up with the base hit. I did not want Martinez to get on base, but he did. Willie Stargell's now up. Pools is on deck. Oh, man. This is uh, this is going to be a doozy. Actually, it's not. He can't cash in that leadoff double. Zero runs score. We're still up six to nothing. Two strikes on Baez. This isn't looking too good. But Baez decides to say F that, and he's going to get a double. 81 speed. He's in there at two. He is a monster, man. Absolute beast. Seventh pitch. And the seventh pitch of the AB, Willie Stargell can't touch the base. Wow. Okay. He got messed up on that one. I don't know why I wouldn't let him touch it. Albert Pools could put it. Put us up by nine. That one's going to center field. Does it get over? No, it does not. So the mishap at first base does not end up hurting him. And we're looking to make this pitch number three out number three. There we go. Three pitches for Felix Hernandez. Three outs. I'll take that every time. Chipper Jones going up against Josh Hader. And Chipper, he gets a base hit through the right side of the infield. Matt Carpenter. With one out, he... Does he ground into a double play? Albert Pujols actually makes the play this time. Double play does happen. We're going to go low and in with the sinker. And this one's going to be off the wall. Throw a three. Griffey, ooh, you don't run on Griffey's arm. He gets a leadoff double. Felix Hernandez is just pitching a gem. Vlad, Vlad, Vlad makes the catch. Woo, woo, woo. Thought that might have been a gap shot, but thank you, Vlad. Felix, does he get a base hit? Felix Hernandez gets a base hit. Woo, one for three on the day. Oh, Baez can't hit it out. Just underneath it. We're going to go four-seamer away. And he actually goes after it and gets a base hit. It was the four-seamer. Oh, man, he did not want that double. Pools. Finally gets his first base hit of the day. Mike Trout. Throw it in. Come on, tag him. Fuck. Noodles. Mike Trout with two outs here in the sixth. And Trout flies out. The patience at the plate is just not there anymore. We have not scored since that six run inning. Albert Pools could get through the hole. 58 speed. 
Albert's going to beat that out. We are on base. Have to fight anything close, Chipper. And Chipper Jones, he gets a base hit. We are going to stay at two. And we're safe. Oh, man. <laughs> I just want Matt to get a base hit. Let's get an RBI to Matt. He rolls over. Uh, 43 speed. He ran down the line so slowly. We're going to go slider away to Sanchez. And he strikes out Beltre. Now batting. He is a lot better against right-handers. And he gets out. Carpenter with the catch. End of the sixth, seventh inning. We're going into the eighth. Felix Hernandez is one for three on the day. He's going to continue pitching. I'm not taking him out. 6-0 lead. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? 0-2 count. We're going to try to put this sweeping curve inside. Uh, no. Chipper Jones does not have the reaction good enough to stop that baseball. Martinez is on base yet again. Second, third time of the day. Albert trying to drive home a run for the first time today. Base hit would score the run. We're going to go sweeping curve away. Ready? Oh, no. And Albert gets a two-run homer. Finally gets on the board. All right, that's cool. Mike Trout's going to be able to catch this one off near the wall. He gets two runs back. It's a four-run lead. Top nine. Hernandez's shutout is now over. Two strikes now on Baez. And Baez gets out. Okay, he gets two hits on the day. Two for five. I'll take it. Pools now has two strikes on him. Trying to fight this off. And Albert flies out. Pretty deep fly ball. We're going to go bottom nine. Felix is going to get the start of the inning. Might have to bring in some relievers if it gets scary. Might as well attack him. Force him to hit this. Baez going to have to make a play. 84 speed. He gets him by a few couple steps. Jose Ramirez does get a base hit. He's only going to get a single. Maybe the changeup. Can we get him to go on this? We do. And that's going to be a double play. And the ball game is over. Baez, player of the game. I'll take it. Two for five for Javier Baez. A double and a home run. Two RBIs. Vlad went one for four with two RBIs. Griffey gets two hits. Schwarber gets a hit. We finished off the game with 12 hits. Felix goes the complete game. Allows two runs, nine hits, struck out one. That's fine with me. Albert Pools for him goes two for four with a home run. Got his only two runs on the board. JD Martinez got on every single time. Well, that's going to be it for this gameplay. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, subscribe down below. I'm excited to have Javier Baez in the lineup. It's going to be a great rest of the year. Yeah, make sure you like, subscribe down below. This is Healy, and I'm out. Peace!